Hello, my name is Gail Morton, and we're going to learn how to use Research Library for biology students. So here I am at Mercer Library page, libraries.mercer.edu. I'm going to scroll down until I see Research Guides and Tutorials. And I'm going to find Biology in the subject. There is biology. Okay. And we're going to do a very basic search using Research Library for a quest. Okay. I'm going to do something. Let's do yeah, GMOs and so GMOs and ethics. hits with my results. Now if I look and bring your attention over here. Oh actually it's 895 results. I'm going to look over here to the left hand side. I'm going to show you how to limit. Or we could just look at the source type. There's scholarly journals. So out of that 895, 757 are scholarly journals. I'm going to change mine to peer reviewed. I got 723. I can click on full text too. And when, when the results, when you get that many results, not all of them are going to have the full text of the article. Many of them will. Some of them just provide an abstract. And we can get the full text if you need it through interlibrary loan. So I'm just going to click on full text. Show you how to limit that. Now I'm down to 676. I can keep limiting if I want. Now you're in biology, so you're going to need to um, put your date range. 1996 might be too old for what you're looking for. So I can move this, or I can just enter in a date range. I'll just move this up. And 2015. Click update. I'm up to 216. I can keep limiting and going and going. I'm going to open one of these up. Find it. Okay. Safety of GM crops. Right, let's look at this PDF. Now, peer reviewed, that means that an expert with a PhD in the field wrote an article maybe with colleagues and she sent it to a certain journal for publication, a certain biology journal for publication, and people who have that those same credentials will read it and either ask to make a few changes or say no or say yes. So it was reviewed by the peers. Okay. I can download the PDF. Okay. Here's the citation tool. Click on this. Okay. Now it defaults to APA 6th edition. And here it is. And it looks right. So you copy and paste this into your paper. Or let's just say you're not using APA. And I get this down arrow. And I can pick all of these different citation styles. Okay. I can print this email it to myself. There's different things that you can do in this database. So that's how you look for biology articles using Research Library and ProQuest.